Let's go through a guide for the Netracells. This is, of course, going to mainly be a mission guide and how we go through. To begin with, then, you want to bring through a build that is going to be Steel Path worthy. That is because, as the game tells us, the enemies here are quite high level. I don't think they get the Steel Path multipliers to armor. But you are going to want all of those same things. So you still want armor and shield stripping. You still want some form of healing and damage reduction. You still want some form of energy economy that is going to help you actually go through of course the rewards here are pretty significant in particular we have the potential to get tower forged archon shards and it does have its own melee arcanes as well for those collectors out there and this is aimed at being done in a party so i will be going in public back to equipment then i'm bringing hildren because i like it warframes that would do well in survival are going to do well in here will be centralized for most of the fighting which means stationary warframes like wisp and octavia are going to do well in fact they're aren't that many bad choices because of this so Ivara's fine Cora's fine Lavos fine just go with whichever one you like we've got Roar on here so we've got some extra damage increases with the mission selected we can head on in to the setup chamber we will see these four glyphs we need to carry all four glyphs through the mission so it can all be on one player but generally speaking you probably want to be taking the ones that are going to be the most manageable for you all of these are probably going to be pretty bad for Hildren so this may well have been a bad thing to pick up but energy per second we literally don't care about that lose two health anybody was so yeah we got two we can take here so i'm gonna take two sometimes it doesn't let you pick it up properly so sometimes you just need to have a look around and once everybody's ready we can enter into the mission by interacting with the pc on the left hand side you should have already done a basic version of this as you were completing the whispers in the wall mission but as you can see we've got the three terminals we need to go and find so we're going to go and do that first which is just one of these little computers again ciphers do work so if you like me and you're in patient just uh, go ahead and pop that once we have all three we'll have a nice set place that we need to go to and anybody that has a key should interact with this big thing right here which will trigger the next part of the mission the idea here is we have this big looking circle and we need to defeat enemies when they enter the circle it's important to note that doing this is what is going to cause the alert level to go lower so if you kill the enemies before they reach the circle that is not going to count so ideally you do need to just have a little bit of patience and let them in if you are the kind of person that really enjoys speed nova and your party can take it maybe that's something you can do to speed things up a little realistically speaking as long as you are stripping things armor so that you can get them defeated this shouldn't be too much of an issue part of the way through the encounter you're going to get told to go and find one of the necromites Usually, you'll hear them before you see them. Just find them wherever it is they're hiding and shoot them. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to make sure you're looking in things like windowsills and inside of vents. And once it's done, we'll get our yellow sign there. Just note there are two of those little necromite things we'd hunt down. Interact with the altar again, and we can head on inside. There are quite a lot of containers in here if you want to get them all broken. But the main prize is up the stairs. Wait for it to stop so that you can break the casket. And this is where you're going to get the main prize for the mission. As well as, every time I've been through here anyway one entrotty lanthorn which is a nice little boost it's only five a week i suppose but at least it's there and then we can extract to get our prize and we got a tau forged shard how very nice in fact that's perfect for hildrings i think that boosts shields stay tuned as in the next video we're going to go through how to merge and slot them into your warframes so that you can actually start getting some of these strong benefits